Hey Sagittarius, one of my favorite artists of all time, Ahmed Efendim, was here in Sydney touring and performing and we got to interview him for Sagittarius. Check it out. It is the archetype. The rep you sing yeah. star cross lovers tale. Love Back in schools when we first got acquainted, caught up in the sky. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's an Arab superhero and he came to bring change. We unite the divide and free him from the chains of the Um, interested to know if you would call your art resistance, and especially since you make reference to obviously in a lot of your songs the Arab uprisings, um, regardless of how what turn they've taken. Um, so I want to know: Are you trying to incite revolution, basically? <laughs> um, and if so, or if not, then what does uh, political change, or what does change even look like to you? To um, well, that's a lot to unpack in that one question. <laughs> I mean, I think. Just honestly, like revolution starts in here and it starts in here, you know, and, and it has to be a very personal journey before it can become this collective effort. Otherwise, it's just a bunch of people yelling and beating their chests and like, you know, using catchphrases. And the second I feel that that's happening, I get very, I don't know, just put, put off, you know, it's not, it's not how I like to operate, you know. Um, and so... When I feel that there's a sincere push of energy from, from the collective you know, community, uh, like the Black Lives Matter movement, like the earlier kind of uh, protest movements within the, the Arab world, and, and within certain spheres of you know, young discourse within the Arab world, it still exists for sure. Um, I'm, I'm so proud of that and I try to elevate those voices, but at the same time, it really for me is a personal journey as well. I mean, resistance, yes, uh, but at the same time, it's like more than that. It's, it's, it's existence, it's insistence on me being who I am and being allowed to live the life of the way I, that I want to live it, and at the same time, not not uh, feeling like the way that I, I live my life has to be the way you live yours, you know? And, uh, you know, to each his own, or that can be in a comedy at the it's the same kind of feeling. And so I, I want everybody. I hope to kind of see that in my work that it's like I choose to express myself in this way I'm very proud of the life that I'm leading, uh, leading. that doesn't mean that you have to lead the same life but that hopefully you can draw inspiration from that to, to, to have the sense of pride in the life that you're leading as well yeah. um, this is probably in Australia the, it's probably a bit similar to how America how POC so people of color artists are usually um, underrepresented in the, in the mainstream um, so probably a, lo a lot more here than, than maybe in the US uh, in terms of uh, how much uh, headway we've made. Uh, so what are some of the tips that you have for people, uh, POC writers and performers um, on breaking through the, the limitations and enabling their art to reach uh, a, a broader audience or mainstream for lack of a better term? Um, well, I think there's a lot to be said about that too, you know, but I, I find like, you know, again, time is on our side and, and you know, we're, our numbers are increasing and, and we have like these new spaces that we're creating for ourselves. I mean, the night before I got here, uh, uh, there was um, like a, a poetry slam event that took place, uh, I think in Western Sydney. Yeah, I'm not, and, thanks and, yeah, thanks Sam Poetry right. Slam. Uh, and the things that I heard about it were just so amazing, made me wish I'd arrived the night before, you know, and it's young people carving their own space. And, and doing it on their own terms and that's amazing you know and and I, I just want to like encourage more people to kind of uh, to, to do those sort of things and to value those experiences for what they are because they're so important you know um, and mainstream honestly like that doesn't even make sense anymore like the, the, the internet has kind of leveled the playing field in that way and so you'll find millions of people all around the world not necessarily maybe in Bankstown but everywhere around the world collectively supporting you in that way and so you you do have this huge community of support uh, and so like you know it, it, it almost doesn't matter anymore we're, we're so much cooler than the mainstream so you know, don't even don't even sweat it yeah that's that's what the what, what the hipsters say um so What's next then for you? I mean, breaking through glass ceilings, more ceilings, <laughs> limitations, you know, smashing labels. Uh, um, any plans for a new album? Absolutely, yeah. A new album definitely in the works. I know I've been saying that for a while, but um, I've been on the road a lot with putting out singles that I, I, I love this, getting support from people for that, um, but I definitely want to put out a new album soon, inshallah. Um, also, you know, continuing to tour. I mean, right after this, I'm heading up to Malaysia for uh, Mocha Fest, which is, uh, you know, a, a Muslim artist festival with lots of people from around the world. Very exciting. Um, 
and, and a lot more touring, you know, next year. But uh, some big family developments as well. So, you know, inshallah, just uh, staying positive and, and uh, you know, just hopefully continuing to do what I do in a way that serves me and my community in a positive way. Well, all the best. We look forward to it. Mama says it's fine. Yep, Mama says it's fine. Everything's going to be okay. But I can sense the fear from 7,000 miles away. How could I just forget it? That's why I put it in a verse. We don't do these things for credit. We don't spit it for a purse. After all, what's more shameful than the praise of fools? Chasing after fame, that's how you play the fool. It's five of beans to offend them just to play the fool.